I first found out about Grants for the Arts when I started working for Audioactive in 2006. When I started, we'd just received our first ever uh, grant from the Arts Council, and it all went from there, really. I remember the first time I went audioactive is because I met a man named Tom Hines and he said he should kind of come down. You know, when you're growing up and you're about 14, 15, you're like, you know, over aware and mm. stuff. And like, you're in a group who all are a bit scared, but then when you realise you're all a bit scared, you just all end up having fun and like, Same all the guys you worked there were just so cool. When I, when I first turned up there, I didn't really know what I was doing there. I just kind of liked the idea of like, doing rap music or making it pop or grime, whatever. But then when you kind of, when you're actually being taught something you really, really love, like you could just record there for free and it was just such a good place to just go and chill. Audioactive works with anything up to 1,200 young people a year. Young people get a lot of musical and arts development out of coming up to our projects, but in some cases, some of our projects are using creative mediums to repair broken relationships with their parents. When it was heading towards the Brighton Hip Hop Festival, yeah. they started to get like more access to, to variations of, of workshop and like mm. facilities, and, and yeah, I suppose the kind of like end goal was to perform yeah. at the Hip Hop Festival, which was very exciting. If you cut funding to the arts. It also cuts a massive gateway for marginalised young people to play a full role in society. Well, without going to my first audioactive session, I don't know how long it would have taken me to realise that I had more freedom to be creative than I thought I did. 